everybody, and welcome to Poland Daily Travel. We've got two guests for you, two for the price of none. And with me in the studio is Phil Goss, and we have Ralph Mitgaw from uh, Zeshov, live from Zeshov. It's, it's good that you're alive, because I don't think you'd be much be help alive. if you weren't. Yeah, it's always a good day, I find. Yeah. And uh, uh, when one wakes up and, and hears the birds, Singing. As long as they're as long as they're on the, as as they're on the other side of any bars, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Now you don't want that. You don't want that. Now, uh, 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 Ralph, we were speaking to you earlier this this week in Zeshov, where I met you for the first time. Phil knows you for some time, and uh, I just thought, you know, you got me going on the how wonderful that Podkarpathia, southeast of Poland area, is, and uh, you're an expert on that area. And you're a lucky man because it's beautiful. But I just thought, um, with the spring upon us, and notwithstanding Zeshov being a center of the war effort, um, what is there to do in Zeshov? Let's discuss that. What do you recommend? The top three things, or saying, if you have a day or two to be in Zeshov. If someone's um, got some free time, well, it depends. You know, there's the city people, and there's more the active. And jump in when you. Uh, Things. So if so if it's about uh, active things, there's a lot of kayaking to do around here. There's uh, tons of cycling along the river. Uh, like I said, there's a huge uh, wildlife refuge area, and it's it's about a kilometer and a half uh, along the one of the cycle routes. There's a velo, um, what do you call it, velo route that goes from basically from Finland all the way down to Greece. It runs and right it goes through, through Zeshov. Wow. Okay. That's right. And then an the active there's a the town Bicycle side. Uh, there's a bunch of um, uh, restaurants around here, really good regional restaurants. One of those guys, uh, there's a famous uh, chef called Jan Pitta, and across Poland, he's one of the most famous uh, regional cooking type of chefs. And uh, yeah, so I had uh, Tatar from uh, uh, Royal um, Elk uh, about a week ago. And uh, yeah, just a, a lot of very interesting food that you don't find in other parts, in other parts of Poland. So things like prozaki and and fuczki. What's prozaki? Uh, so and you got to tell us what those are, though. Prozaki are those, those delicious little uh, sourdough um, type or soda uh, biscuits. Um, ah, we had some uh, of those the other night, didn't we? Right, with the those are amazing. Butter. Yeah, yeah, those are those are really yeah. tasty. They'll pack on the pounds. At the Ostoya the restaurant, they were. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And then. Um, and then fuczki are something like well, you know, um, platski, yeah, from uh, from it's potatoes, potato cake, right? potato yeah. pancakes, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so fuczki are are made, and they come only from this region, and they're made actually from kapusta, so from cabbage. Uh -huh. So like a cabbage pancake, and they have a different flavor completely. And um, yeah, I was pretty amazed. I thought, uh, you know, having lived in the south in the states, that I knew quite a bit about cabbage, but uh, these um, cabbage cakes were pretty pretty good so and um yeah so so when it comes to the restaurant scene the food scene it's uh, come quite a long way there's a lot of hungarian types of restaurants around here and um uh, jewish food uh there's some pretty good indian restaurants you guys were at a mexican place and you were surprised by that with some two guys from mexico city came out here and opened up a few places so yeah that's it's amazing. Okay. I wonder what the attraction is of a Mexican to come to Poland. Uh, could not it be Mexico the ladies? City. Not could Mexico it be the City. ladies? <laughs> or could it be it's less crowded than Mexico? I don't know. Or well, let's well, safer. Well, safer. A lot of a lot of guys came out here actually uh, related to the gaming community because the biggest gaming marketplace in Europe is actually located in Zeshov. The headquarters are in Zeshov, so it's um I didn't know. It's that. Uh, what do you mean like an eBay? What do you mean by gaming marketplace? A place where, you know, I don't know if you've ever heard of Steam, but it's basically, or like, it's like an eBay for where you buy um, keys, digital keys to a game. For example, you want to buy an access code to get some software. Well, some, you know, the, the producers of those software, they make, say, 10,000 extra keys to get some popularity, get some traction, get some feedback. And there's a marketplace. They've got people from 39 different countries working right down the road from the old town where you guys were. About 700 employees. 
Wow. Well, we knew, I knew that Poland was, I've done voiceovers for game projects in Poland. Now, I guess you have too, Phil. I think the game. Do you do voiceovers? Side. you got a good voice. Do you do some voiceovers as well? Um, Ralph? <clears throat> It depends on how much I've been drinking, so. Ah, uh, you don't do them. Well, but yeah. I think the <laughs> Maybe there's no market in Jeshwaf. But the know. gaming marketplace there is, is different than the game production. Yeah, okay. And, and game yeah. production also has a lot of traction in Poland. And Warsaw itself is a major player in global post-production. That's right. Yeah, that's why I was, do I guess I was doing some voiceovers yeah. for these projects. For the post-production. They yeah. weren't I, Polish I projects. I yeah, I've they were from outside. I've done that here in yeah. I've done it here for, 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 um, for military type games. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So you have been doing it. Nice. I, I did it yeah. once in Warsaw for a military time, but that yeah. was, uh, was Well, both a of you guys of have ago, great yeah. voices, so I was, you know, God, why am I doing it? You guys should be doing it. Yeah. Okay, that's all we have for this one. Come back for the next show tomorrow night with Phil Goss and Ralph McGaw. Not Quick Draw McGraw. No. Different man. Different man. You're going to get it. You're going to get it next time. I'm sure you're going to walk. You're going to step into a hole next time we're down here. I got to be careful. Man. I got to be careful. A I very be careful. deep one. <laughs> Thank you very Whoops. much. See you tomorrow night.